Good evening, and thank you for joining Mr. Alpha's Neighborhood, hosted by the men of the Gamma Kappa Lambda chapter of Alpha Phi Alpha Fraternity Incorporated. And tonight we're going to read a book called Crown. It's an ode to the fresh cut. This book, Crown, an ode to the fresh cut, focuses on humanity, the beautiful, raw, smart, perceptive, assured humanity of black boys and sons brothers, nephews, grandsons, and how they see themselves when they highly approve of their reflections in the mirror. The book is written by Derek Barnes, illustrated by Gordon C. James, Crown, an Ode to the Fresh Cut. When it's your turn in the chair, you stand at attention and forget about who you were when you walked through that door. You came in as a lump of clay, a blank canvas, a slab of marble. But when my man is done with you, they'll want to post you up in a museum. That's my word. He'll drape you like royalty with that cape to keep the fine hairs off of your neck and your princely robes. It's amazing what a tight fade, high, low, bald, does for your confidence. Dark Caesar? Who knows, you might just smash a geography exam tomorrow and rearrange the entire principal's honor roll. A fresh cut does something to your brain, right? It hooks up your intellectual. You're a star, a brilliant, blazing star. Not the kind that you'll find on a sidewalk in Hollywood. No, they're going to have to wear shades when they look up to catch your shine. He'll even lean you back in the chair, dab that cool shaving cream on your forehead, and then craft a flawless line with that razor. Slow, steady, surgical. It frames your swagger. The cute girl in the class across the way won't be able to keep her pretty eyes off you. Her friends will giggle and whisper, girl, he's so fine. Yeah, that's what they'll say. The whole school will be seasick from the rows and rows of ripples. You'll have more waves on your head than the Atlantic Ocean. There's a dude to the left of you with, fo with a faux hawk, a deep part, skin fade. He looks presidential. Maybe he's the CEO of a tech company that manufactures cool. He's a boss. That's how important he looks. Due to the right of you, looks majestic. There are thousands of black angels waiting to guide and protect him. As soon as he steps a foot out that door, that's how important he looks. There's a dude standing in the mirror that can't get over the masterful designs crafted on the side of his dome. Everywhere he goes, people will ask for his autograph. He looks that fresh. He looks like he owns a few acres of land on Saturn. Maybe there's a river named after him on Mars. He looks that important. There are two dudes. One of them with locks, the other with cornrows, and a lady with the butterscotch complexion. And all they want is a shape up, tapered size, a trim, and a crisp but subtle line. And sometimes in life, that's all you ever need, a crisp but subtle line. When your barber is done, you will feel like a million dollars and some change. When his fingertips hit you with that apple green alcohol or that witch hazel, it'll sting, but not like a scorpion or a hornet, more like an electric stamp of approval. And when you see the cut yourself, 
in that handheld mirror, you'll smile with a really big smile. That's the you that you love the most. That's the you that wins everything. That's the gold medal you. Every person in the shop will rise to their feet and give you a round of applause for being so fly. Not really, but they'll look like they want to. You'll see it in their eyes. It's the look of your it's the look that your English teacher gives you when she hands you the la your last test with a bright red 97 slapped on it. It's how your mother looks at you before she calls you beautiful. Flowers are beautiful. Sunrises are beautiful. Being viewed in your mother's eyes as someone that matters, now that's beautiful. And you'll take it. You don't mind it at all. <laughs>